Wieder heute bei Language Place. Heute machen wir etwas mit, mit dem Thema die Tage der Woche. You're welcome once again, dear students out there. And this time, we want to do something about the days of the week. We need to know them, the days of the week. Okay, so I want to tell you something about the gender of the days of the week. They are all masculine. So that's the good news. Okay. So once you are thinking of these days, all of them are masculine. And I'll pronounce them now. You pronounce after me. Die Montag. I want to put the article so that you have it in your system. Die Montag. Die Dienstag. Die Mittwoch. Die Donnerstag. Die Freitag. Die Samstag. The Sonntag. Okay, now let's take away the dear so that you can now concentrate on the pronunciation of the days of the week. The topic is the Tage die Woche. And from there you see the days. Tag, Plura, Tage. And now you remember the article, the Tage. Okay, the Tage die Woche. So once again, Montag. Montag, Dienstag, Mittwoch, Mittwoch, Donnerstag, Donnerstag, Freitag, Freitag, Samstag, Samstag, and then Sonntag. Sonntag. Okay. This, this is Monday. Montag. Monday. Dienstag. Tuesday. Mittwoch. Wednesday. Donnerstag. Thursday. Freitag. Friday. Samstag. Saturday. Sonntag. Sunday. Okay. So, with that, I want to tell you a small story, a small story of a big family. So, I have the story here. Uh, the picture is here. Eine große Familie. Say it after me. Eine große Familie. Okay, then we have the story here. My name is Donnerstag. My name is Donnerstag. I have to take it again. Sorry, I'm taking it again now. Okay, I'm taking it again. We want to go through this wonderful story of this family. I'm going to read it first, and then we're going to read it together after I might have read it. Okay. My name is Dienstag. Ich komme aus Ghana. Ich bin Student. My father heißt Sonntag. Er ist Ingenieur vom Beruf. Meine Mutter heißt Montag. Sie ist Verkäuferin von Beruf. Ich habe vier Geschwister. Sie heißen Mittwoch, Donnerstag, Freitag und Samstag. Wir wohnen zusammen in Akra. That's the end of my story. So you are going to read it now with me. So definitely before we read it again, just look for the nouns to emphasize something again. All the nouns in the text are written with initial capital letter. And let's just look for them. Okay. This is in the name of a, a country, Ghana, initial capital letter. Let's look. Okay. This is my name. Name is a noun. Initial capital letter. This is another noun. Initial capital letter. On and on. Student. Initial capital letter. And then father is a noun. Starting with initial capital letter. And this is another noun. Initial capital letter. This is another noun. Engineer. Initial capital letter. And then Montag again. Another noun. Initial capital letter. Verkäufer 
You are possibly meeting the word for the first time now. Fekoifa simply means seller, a woman that is selling. Fekoifa is a male seller. Fekoifa is a female seller. Okay, and then Beruf. This is a noun, initial capital letter. And then Geschwister. Geschwister, initial capital letter. And then we have a lot of nouns here. We have Midvog, Donnerstag, Freitag, Son, Samstag. And then we live together. We have Wunes Zusammen in Accra, capital letter. This is very important. If you write a short uh, composition like this, and all your nouns are in small initial capital, can you imagine the number of mistakes, grammatical mistakes you would have made? So let's note that as we talk about this family. Okay, so we see the family up there. I want us to do this together, that you write, you see different names there. We give the names to these uh, members of the family that we have up there. So again, we read the text, and as we read the text, we allot the name to the people there. My name is Dinstag. Okay, so we see Dinstag. I want us to locate Dinstag here. Ich komme aus Ghana. My name is Dinstag. You know that. My name is Tuesday. Ich komme aus Ghana. I come from Ghana. Ich bin Student. You know the meaning? I am. Remember the verb? Sein. I am a student. My father. My father. My father. Heist. Remember the verb? Heisen. Ich heise. Du heist. My father is called Sontag. He is an engineer from Beruf. He is an engineer by profession. Engineer from Beruf. And then, meine Mutter, my mother. Meine Mutter, my mother. Heist Montag. Sie ist Verkäuferin. A female seller. She is a seller. She sells. From Beruf, that's her profession. Ich habe vier Geschwister. I have four uh, siblings. I have four siblings. Sie, that is the siblings, they are called Midwoch, Donnerstag, Freitag, and Samstag. We are wohnen. Remember this verb? We live. Well, this is a new verb. This is a new word. We live together. Susamen. Susamen. We live together in Accra, Ghana. So, let's just try and spot it out. Well, this is the father. I will just use the first uh, alphabet. Montag. This is the mother. This is... Uh, the father is Sontag. Let's check it again. What's the name of the father? My father... My father is Sontag. So, this is Sontag. Let's look for what the mother is called. My mother is Montag. So, this is Montag. Okay. And then, he himself. My name is Dinstag. He himself is Dinstag. Where is Dinstag here? Dinstag. Okay. Dinstag. Seems to be the firstborn of the family. Dinstag. Okay. And then we go on. Uh, and he's a, he's a student. And then Sontag. Then we have the other... Um, Siblings in the family, we have uh, number one, we have Midvoch. This is Midvoch. And then number two, we have Donnerstag. This is Donnerstag. And then number next, we have Freitag. This is Freitag. And this is the last born of the family. And that is uh, Samstag. This is Samstag. Okay. So look at that wonderful big family. The usual family in Africa. Okay, so with this, you should be able to remember, and with this particular text, you'll be able to remember the days of the week without problem as I read it once more. My name is Dean Stack. Ich komme aus Ghana. Ich bin Student. My father heißt Sontag. Er ist Engineer vom Beruf. Meine Mutter heißt Montag. Sie ist Verkäuferin vom Beruf. Ich habe vier Geschwister. Sie heißen Mittwoch, Donnerstag, Freitag und Samstag. Wir wohnen zusammen in Accra.